Hi everyone, my name is Emily Merton and I'm a graduate associate with Prevention and Wellness and today for Wellness Wednesday we're going to be talking about friendships and what that has to do with social wellness. So here is our wellness wheel and on our eight dimensions of wellness you can see that social wellness is up on the left hand side in orange. What is social wellness? Social wellness involves building healthy, nurturing, and supportive relationships, as well as fostering a genuine connection with those around you. Conscious actions are important in learning how to balance your social life with your academic and your personal lives. And this came from a very great website that I'm going to reference at the end. So we're going to talk about keeping friendships and when friendships probably aren't best for your situation and maybe you need to eliminate that friend from your life to like really better yourself and focus on what surrounds you and makes you the best person you can be. So some reasons to know that your friend is worth keeping and is a good friend to you is they follow up and are dependable is one of them. So if you're sick or if something big is coming up, does your friend text or reach out or call or send you a message or something to tell you like, are you okay or I'm there for you? Or do they say, good luck, you've got this, you're going to go crush it. And then being dependable is another like really key part of having a good friend is when they say they're going to do something, do they actually follow through and do it? And are they there for you? The next thing is they're not threatened by your success. So when you do really well or when you make new friends or when something really great is happening in your life, do they really cheer you on and support you? Or do you find that your friend might be a little bit jealous or threatened? And sometimes a little bit of jealousy is okay, but you, your friend should really support you and be there for you and be really happy for you and genuinely happy. And then the third thing is you don't feel self-conscious around them. So are you able to be goofy and be your true authentic self when you're around your friend? If you feel like you have to put a wall up or maybe they might judge you or look at you a different way from some of the way that you might act on a normal basis with other people you are comfortable with, is that really a friend you want to keep around or is it someone who does let you be your full self around them? And those friends are people that you should really keep around. So when to break a friendship. So when they're passive aggressive, when you say no to them, say your friend asks you to do something or help them with something and you say no, maybe you have a reason, maybe you don't. If they become passive aggressive with you in that sense, that can be a, a red flag. It can be a sign that you might not want to continue that friendship with the person. They betray, betray your trust. Oh, trust is a very hard thing to earn from someone. And once it's been broken, it's almost even harder to regain that trust than it is when you start a friendship and they get you gain their trust and they gain yours. So when a friend betrays your trust, it's just a really hard thing to repair. And you have to make a educated guess and a good determination of whether that trust is worth trying to repair, if that friendship is worth keeping, even though they've betrayed your trust, but it's something to really consider. And then the friendship is constantly one-sided. This is a big one. A lot of times when you're in a friendship with someone, you'll be the one to constantly be reaching out or asking to do something, or you'll be the one to show up when they don't. And that's not really a great friend to have. It's not someone you really want to surround yourself with. And Maybe you can find someone out there that's a better friend towards you. And yeah. So here's some references from today's Wellness Wednesday video.